Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another episode of Basic Breakdown. I'm here in the filming studio at Massive Joe's headquarters with resident Italian stallion. Vincenzo. What's going on? And well, the reason why I introduce you as the Italian Stallion is because uh, it's 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 uh, particularly useful in this episode of Basic Breakdown. It is. Because we are reviewing a new product from Australian supplement company, Switch Nutrition. And the product is called Coffee Switch. There it is. So if there's someone in this building that mm. knows a little bit about coffee, that's not me. It's going to be you. It's going to be me. You're half Italian. Unless right? you get Millie in. Well, actually, yeah, <laughs> Millie's like fresh off the boat Italian. Maybe yeah. we should get Millie we should. <laughs> for this episode. Anyway, Vince, coffee switch. Yes. Let's dive straight in. Let's do it. So, nutritional panel here. Mm. Doesn't say the serves, but 25 serves in a tub yeah, know, or a box this is, or whatever this they're serving is, it up in. Well, what they're actually doing, and you guys, show them, the, show them again, Vince. Just pop the... Is it's a box with um, sachets yeah. in it. Yeah. So the reason why it doesn't have the number of serves on here is because, uh, well, it says actually in serving Six, size, you guys can sachet, see at the top. Yeah. Six gram sachet mixed mm -hmm. with 250 ml liquid, but it's actually a number of sachets per box. Yeah. Rather than like scoops and serves and shit. Yeah. Mm. So, so 25 sachets. 25 sachets. Each sachet is six grams. Yep. And designed to mix with 250 ml of liquid. Mm. Hot, yeah. Make, well, hot, you would think you would think like hot water, right? It's yeah, kind of like making like an instant coffee. Pretty yeah, you think so. Yeah. Um, and then so with that, there is some calories in there. Mm. Um, Seventy-three kilojoules, which is roughly well, is seventeen point four calories. Yep. Um, a little bit of protein, less than a gram. One gram of fat, one gram of carb. Pretty so much, pretty negligible. much neg negligible. Yeah. You're kind of you're, you're effectively drinking like a long black. Yeah. Pretty much. Pretty much. Yeah. And then we get into the good stuff. Mm. So. Uh, and this espresso flavor, yep. each flavor varies in the caffeine level as well. Okay. So this espresso has 115 milligrams of caffeine from mm -hmm. the natural coffee bean. Mm -hmm. um, and then the other flavors, went, which I'll go into when I say them, yeah. um, have different levels as well. Okay. So Colombian single origin Arabica coffee. Straight from Colombia. 1500 milligrams, so 1.5 grams of coffee. Okay. And that's Study. where, 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 because this is where I get like, I get a little bit confused here. Yeah. Because I'm half Italian as well. Yeah. So when I drink my coffee, I like get the beans. Yeah. And I grind the beans and I put the beans in the, in the percolator yeah. on the stove top. And yeah. I turn, and so I, when it says 15, like, I don't even know what that means. Neither do I. 15. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, do, I do the same thing. I'm good. <laughs> so I guess that we just say like, that's the, um, in the six gram sachet, there's one and a half grams of coffee. coffee. Yeah. And a bunch of other grams of the other stuff. I mean, if you think of an instant coffee, more yeah. so, yeah. You, a teaspoon is usually about two grams or a gram and a half, okay. or something like that. That's so a good it's going to be quite light. It's it. going to be a, it's going to be similar to a teaspoon of an instant coffee. Of is what a, I would think. Yeah, personally, from a caffeine content, from a caffeine perspective, content. Yeah, which is where the one fifteen milligrams is coming from. Yeah. Okay, let's get that out of the way and move on with the rest of the ingredients. Next, we go into our medium chain tri triglycerides, as yep. go MCTs. Mm -hmm. Um, these are a healthy fat source, essentially, in there for natural energy, so they're going to help with getting more ketones yep. into your body. Yep. Um, they can help with gut health as well, mm. um, and they're going to help kind of with energy and brain clarity mainly. Mm -hmm. That's kind of what they're in there for. Not a bad addition. I don't mind. Uh, there's, a, the, there's a bunch of companies, I'm just going to, just off the top of my head, I reckon there was like Bulletproof Coffee. Yep. That was like, you know, it was they used MCTs, but it was like a high fat yeah. coffee effectively. And there's yeah. a bunch of other, I think they were probably the originals or yeah. at least the ones that kind of marketed it the best. And then there's been a bunch of companies that have tried to do like the high fat, yeah. uh, not necessarily coffee, but high fat morning ritual of some sort. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, I'm not, a, I'm, I, I, I'm definitely not averse to it, to your MCTs first thing in the morning, especially if you're getting it in before you're consuming any sort of carbohydrate. 100%, yeah. Mm. Move on. Next, we have our certified organic Super 7 mushroom blend. Super 7, I like it. What so, are the Super 7 bits? <laughs> Lion's Mane, yep. the Fenno Chaga, yep. uh, Cordyceps, mm -hmm. uh, Rishi, mm -hmm. King Trumpet, Shiitake, and Turkey Tail. Mm. Your seven mushroom extracts. We've got a whole bunch of different fucking animals in these uh, in these mushrooms. Yeah, here. turkeys, lions, 
Um, we've got a musical instrument with trumpets in there. <laughs> it's always interesting when you dive into mushroom yeah. names, isn't it? Now, we don't know the dose of each um, mushroom, yeah. uh, but there is a 2,000 milligram dose of all of them. Mm. Um, some are in there for mental focus and cognition, mm -hmm. some are in there for anti-inflammatory, anti mm -hmm. some have been for respiratory health. Mushrooms have kind of been used in Chinese medicine and health for a while now yeah. in terms of different purposes. So, And these particular ones do have uh, effects associated with them. For example, yeah. like lion's mane, we see in nootropics because yeah. it helps with mental focus. Cordyceps, same thing. Yeah. Shiitake I use in my stir fry because um, they're fucking <laughs> delicious. Uh, but it's difficult to say because we don't know the exact... Firstly, we don't know the extract ratios of each of these mushrooms and we don't know the amounts of the extracts that are being used yeah. in this Super 7 blend. So it's kind of difficult for us to yeah. comment on you know why they're in there what effects they're in there to elicit uh, so we just kind of say the seven mushrooms we call it the super seven and there's 2,000 total milligrams yeah what we've got next Vince the Alpinia Galanja mm. or an extra mm. um, which an extra provides a mental energy boost mm. um, improves alertness and focus for up to five hours without caffeine mm -hmm. um, it can replace caffeine, but is quite often used with it to amplify the benefits that you do get from caffeine without the crash. Yeah, I don't mind this. I, I've seen this product floating around. This is the first time I've seen a supplement company use it. Mm. Uh, and I don't mind it, to yeah. be honest. There's uh, a couple of quite interesting, I'm going to call them nootropic because they are kind of nootropic based, yeah. uh, non-stimulant based ingredients floating around at the moment. And this is one of them, um, the N-Extra. Angstra. I don't even know yeah. how the fuck you're supposed to pronounce that. N extra. N extra. So I'm guessing. Um, what's that dosage? Is that like the 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 validated so dose or the study that I saw used 300 milligrams? Okay. I think. So, so it's about yeah, half. Half. Yep. Yeah. All right, and then um, we're moving to some uh, hydrokirk. Yeah, some hydrokirk turmeric extract, mm. um, which has a few things, but more so anti-inflammatory purposes. Yeah. Um, hydrokirk primarily. Yeah, yep. is kind of what it's there for. And dosage. It's bio available. 100 milligrams, yep. um, quite low, 10 to see 500 milligrams. Mm -hmm. More of that is really going to affect your taste, though, of mm, your coffee. It is, so yeah. I'm sure that's probably why they've kept it lower, it's and it make is coffee. It uh, tastes so, like a curry, Yeah, really, with yeah. the, the turmeric in there. Neurofactor. Neurofactor, right. yeah. So this one's popping up in pretty much everything now. Mm. It's getting some neurofactor in there. Um, increases levels of brain-derived neurotropic factor, your mm -hmm. BDNF. Um, which helps with neuron development, repair, and helps prevent neuron de degeneration. Yeah. Um, I'm a big fan yeah. of Neurofactor. Yeah. It's popping up, like you said, in a, in a bunch of um, primarily in tropics, also pre-workouts, and we're starting to see it in fat burners as yeah. well. Yeah. It's uh, one of those ingredients that's really starting to get a bunch of traction, primarily because when you use it, it actually fucking works. Yeah. And it's a noticeable effect. I'm really keen to see the combination of the Neurofactor and the N extra yeah. in here and what effect that has. Because I, I think, like on paper, theoretically, that should be a pretty good combo. I think it'd be very good. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so. then we move on to some uh, theobromine. Theobromine, um, which is another stimulant, works um, quite well with caffeine, but does. Um, it's a stimulant which can lower blood pressure as well. Mm. Um, Vasodil Vasodilates Vasodilates a little bit as well. Yeah. That dosage so, is um, negligible, yeah. though, 150 milligrams. You really need to see. The way I like to describe theobromine in terms of stimulant effect, and this is probably the, the, the best way to think about it, is it's about one tenth as strong as caffeine yeah. in terms of stimulatory effect. And that does have other benefits such as vasodilation and yeah. so on and so forth. But when you think about it as being one tenth the strength of caffeine. So if you've got like 100 milligrams of caffeine, to get the same sort of stimulatory effect, you need 1,000 milligrams of theobromine. It kind of puts it in perspective. Yeah. At 15 milligrams, it's pretty much doing nothing. Yeah, most of the time you see like 50 to 500 mm. in properly dosed kind of stuff. And then finally, some hyp hypersia serrata or hypersinine A, mm, which is you're a big fan of. A, I am a big fan of. The dosage in here, well, firstly, Let's talk about what it does, Vince. Hi, President. It stops the breakdown of acetylcholine, mm. um, which in this is going to prevent the breakdown of natural acetylcholine mm. that we have in our body. It's, yep. There's no extra choline or anything being added in there as a choline donor. Yeah. Um, so it's going to help. It will help with focus a bit. Um, but yeah. 
It's particularly useful when supplements contain a, a choline donor. Yeah. So, you know, different types of choline, choline by tartrate, mm -hmm. um, acetylcholine, alpha GPC, because what those uh, compounds do is they boost acetylcholine in your brain and your body tries to reach a, a homeostasis. So it wants to bring those elevated levels of acetylcholine back down. Hupazine A stops that breakdown. So it mm. binds to the enzyme that is responsible for breaking down excessive amounts of acetylcholine, allows those excessive amounts to stick around a little longer and helps boost mental focus. Yeah. It's quite rare to see it used by itself without a form of choline. Yeah. So I don't really know what effect it's gonna have in this coffee switch. Yeah. It's kind of difficult to see. I don't know if there's gonna be some synergism with the an extra or the neurofactor or some of the mushrooms in there. I'm yeah, not hundred well percent sure. That's it, we don't know yet. But it is a big dose, man. Yeah, twenty five micrograms, not mm, bad. Not bad. You know, sure. usually we see for, you know, doses kind of start at five micrograms, yeah. 10 to 20, um, you know, 50 is a huge dose. 50, yeah. 25 is a very significant dose of uh, Hooperzine A. Yeah, so, should be good. Vince, talk to me about uh, flavors availability and you mentioned the caffeine content varies yeah. as well with the different flavors, right? So it comes in your plain espresso, mm. um, which has your 115 milligrams. Mm -hmm. It also comes in a stronger naked espresso, mm. which has 135 milligrams of caffeine. Is that literally like the difference is just the caffeine? I believe so. Why is it so. called naked? I'm not 100% sure, to be honest. I'm okay. assuming just because it's stronger. Okay, um, cool. And then the caffeine mocha. I would have called it, I would have called it doppio espresso. Yeah. Well, there you go, you gotta give Double it some tips. espresso. <laughs> you know it could saying? have some other benefit, anyway, I didn't see it, but espresso yeah. espresso it is. <laughs> and the caffeine mocha, which has yep. 85 milligrams of caffeine. Yeah, and you're assuming that one's flavored as well, right? Yeah. With the, yeah. Uh, it's the gonna chocolate. be like a chocolate coffee yeah. um, type flavor. Availability, where are we at? Available soon, so launching I think next week sometime. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, it'll be available soon. So pretty much by the time this video goes live, it, it uh, should be available. It should be available. Yeah, I'm interested to give it a shot, Vince. I'm a big well, both of us we're big fans of coffee. Yeah. we drink our coffee in the morning and we drink a cold drip here at the office at Massive mm -hmm. Joe's headquarters on the daily. Uh, so we consider ourselves a little bit coffee experts. Yeah, I'm keen to give it a try, not just uh, to taste it, see how it tastes. Yeah, but also to uh, see the effects compared to, you know, just a, a cold drip coffee. Or, 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 yeah. or an espresso. And price for a coffee compared comparison isn't, from what we're looking at, yeah. isn't too bad. So we're looking at seventy nine ninety five for 25 mm -hmm. serves, so mm -hmm. $3.20 a serve. Yeah, okay. For so standard. it's comparable. Comparable. So, you yeah. know, if you're buying a takeaway coffee at least. Yeah. yeah. Plus Bits. extra benefits. Plus extra benefits. Anything else you'd like to add? That's it. Before I tell the viewers, to hit the subscribe button. Subscribe to the Massive Joe's YouTube channel. Turn your post notifications on on whatever platform you're watching this video on so you don't miss a beat when it comes to the Massive Joe's YouTube channel, including all of these new episodes of Basic Breakdown. Guys, that is Basic Breakdown on the all new Switch Nutrition Coffee Switch. Until next time, where are we coming to and from? Vince. MassiveJoe's.com. Thank you for tuning in to this video. We hope you enjoyed watching. Don't forget to check out our latest upload and our recommended video and be sure to subscribe to the Massive Joe's YouTube channel to stay up to date with all of our latest uploads.